my channel so today i'm gonna be doing a video showing you guys all the things i literally just got from my new puppy that's coming today um just a background i am getting a toy poodle and the process was relatively very fast i don't know if that's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing um i'll update you guys of course on whether or not i actually get the dog i got a feeling like you know when things happen so fast it just seems like it's not actually gonna happen but hopefully it happens um i went to the store i went to tia max and i went to pet smart to get uh just a few things for the dog and some of his food so i'm just going to show you guys what i got so starting off at tj maxx i just got some bio pet pads because um they said that it is um pad trained so i actually didn't know this but it has a lemongrass scent i don't know if i'm gonna like that or not but it has 50 pads in it and it was only 9.99 so I just got this one. I got this a brush. It was on sale for $4. It's just a soft bristle kind of brush, two-sided. Um, it is a poodle, so I know that they can end up matting um, easily. So I need to brush it every day. I also got some puppy teething sticks. And it has real chicken recipe. Relieves teething pain. Added DHA for healthy brain development. And I made sure that it had puppy on it because it is a small dog. I believe it is 10 weeks, but I will uh, let you guys know if I'm incorrect. So this is only $3.99 and I made sure I checked the expiration date and it expires November of 2022. And then I got some pet nail clippers just in case the nails aren't clipped and it was only $3.99. And the last thing I got from uh, TJ Maxx is this little toy. It squeaks and it just matches my whole aesthetic. So, of course, I just had to get that. And it was only $4.99. And then last, I got, I went to PetSmart. And I just got this teething toy because I noticed uh, I made sure to ask to FaceTime the dog so that I saw what it looked like. And it was, like, showing signs of teething. So, I made sure I got some teething items. And it's really small. It's a small dog, so I got a mini version. Also got some tissue wipes. Oh my gosh, it's rosemary and chamomile. I don't know if I like this smell, but oh well. It says it has flea treatment on it. Flea treatment compatible. So this is the only one that they had in PetSmart. So if I don't like it, then oh well. And then they let me know that this is what the dog actually likes the blue home style recipe puppy um canned thing this is chicken dinner with garden vegetables and they didn't have the exact uh, flavor that they said they used but um yeah i thought i wasn't recording and then i know for sure that it's this brand that it likes it's a treat little jacks little jack treats and it has 100 treats in it treats in it made with fresh chicken liver so they let me know that my dog loves this kind I also got some stain and odor remover. I asked the person at PetSmart if this actually works well and she said that she uses it, so hopefully it does. I'm kind of uh, scared because, I mean, it's natural, so I'm kind of afraid that since it's natural, it won't work as well as it's supposed to. I'll make sure I have my uh, bedroom and bathroom closed so I won't have access to the carpet yet. <clears throat> and then I got this Pet Armor Oatmeal Shampoo for Dogs. And I just got this for when he is a little older. I know right now he won't be able to use this, but just so that I have it on hand, I made sure I got some shampoo that kills fleas and ticks, and it has oatmeal in it to soothe dry or irritated skin. And this is the Hawaiian ginger scent. And it smells so good. And for $1.99, I got this Top Paw Flea Comb. Just in case he has little fleas. Next, I got these cute little bowls. And it matches my whole vibe in here. Tan or cream with black. So, it's a small dog. So, hopefully the food um, doesn't overflow. Hopefully this is big enough for it. I just thought it was so cute. And they said that 
they're bringing the dog food. I don't know if that's true or not since her husband is actually going to end up dropping the dog off. So just in case he forgets or something. I got the food that they said that they use. This is the Blue Life Protection Formula. It's puppy, chicken, and brown rice recipe. So this thing costs $30. Carry dog crate. This was only, I believe, let me put it up on this on the seat. Yeah, this wire crate was $18.99. So I spent the same amount on wipes as a crate. Like that's crazy. 72 wipes coming here. I better like just know this or I'm gonna have that too. But yeah, this was only $18.99 fold and carry dog crate and it's for extra small dogs up to 12 pounds and that's how big it's gonna be it might be under i'm pretty sure it won't even be over eight pounds so i got this it says it comes with the free dvd crate training and it's for a dog up to nine inches tall and 16 inches long so yeah that is it I am going to be patiently waiting for my dog to come in the next couple of hours and I will update you. Hopefully I'm getting a dog. Don't know if I am or not because it just seems so surreal. Like everything happened so fast. I've been looking for a dog for months, um, but it's just weird that it actually happened the way that it happened. I wasn't going to wait until my birthday, but I don't know. This just happened and I really was being impulsive to be honest, like always, but... I did it. I finally got it out the way and I hope I love my dog and I will show you guys it in the next clip. How are you? Come here Blake. 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 Time. He pooped in his cage. I made a mistake and put him in a crate. Because I wanted him to like warm up to it. I put his toys, I put treats just so that he could have a positive experience with the crate. And he's terrified of it. So I ordered him a playpen. It's supposed to come today, but it's not here yet. So that's the only reason why I put him in there. But now I know I'm just not going to use it all. At least not right now. But he took a nap and I fed him some of his food and I need to buy a blender because he um, he likes his hard food to be ground up and I got him a can of food that he ate. So maybe he got some energy from eating some of that food. Are you peeing? Oh my gosh. Come on, yeah, uh, Matt. Potty. 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 It's like he doesn't know what to do. They say he is pad trained. I don't know if how true that is. Potty. He just wants to be under water. Well, it's just a good thing, but he needs to. He needs to do what he needs to do. Because if he has to use it, he doesn't need to do it on me. So, this is just a learning experience for me. I don't know what I'm doing. I um, did some research, but you never know until you have it. So, I'm just playing with him so he gets comfortable. He, I had him uh, wrapped up in a blanket and he took a nap. And this toy, he doesn't really care for it. He just wants to be on me all day. I held him while he took a nap. No teeth. No teeth, no. So, yeah. He's a toy. And he's so tiny. And I really wasn't expecting to have a dog this small. I really didn't care. I just wanted him to be like just moderate size. But this dude is tiny. Like, he's the size of my hand. He's 
so cute. We are learning over here. No tea. See, he's getting comfortable already. No tea. Yeah, I'm gonna update y'all later. Hey y'all, so I'm gonna be doing a quick update. As you can see, I have got him. I'm in love with him. His name is Zane. And at first his name was Blake, but it was just too much to say. I, it just, I wasn't feeling it. So I changed his name to Zane. And I just wanted to do a quick little update and just uh, let you guys know things that changed from the video. So from today, he is 13 weeks and three days. And he I've had him for three weeks and five days. So it hasn't even been a month yet, but it feels like I've had him for so long. Like, it's so weird. Um, in the video, I noticed that I was playing with my fingers. And I think I was doing that because I just wanted to like build a connection with him because he was really shy. But in the video that I did on a FaceTime with um, before I got him, I realized that the person that had him before me was also playing in his fingers. So like I feel like he thinks that hands are a toy and I try to snap him out of that ever since um, about three days after I got him. So I just tap and say no when he like bites fingers or something like that. So that is something that we are working on. Um, the crate that you guys saw, I actually returned it because he came with a crate for free. They gave me this crate and I put a shirt in there just to help him feel more comfortable that has my scent on it. Something else is that um, you need to get your dog food from Kroger because it's way cheaper. They have a lot of sales and I actually returned the food that I showed you guys from PetSmart. It was 30 something dollars and I ended up um, getting it from Kroger for $16. So it was half off sale at Kroger. So you definitely need to get your dog food from Kroger, Kroger, from Kroger because they have sales. Um, I used a playpen. I just recently stopped like a week ago because I wanted him to um, use my grass on my balcony. So at first he was using dog training pads and now he has transitioned onto the grass and he does amazing on it. At first I thought that he wouldn't get it but um, I realized that I just have to leave him out there by himself and then he'll pee and then I'll just let him back in. So if I'm watching him he won't do it but if he is by himself he'll realize what he's supposed to do and he'll pee or poop. And if he does number two, I'll pick it up with a toilet paper and then I'll flush it down the toilet. And every night I will get pine salt and water and just clean it and uh, flush the liquids down the toilet. So I have tried doing the balcony doorbell thing, but I don't think he will catch on to it. And I kind of feel like it's a waste. I have seen him start to walk towards the door, so I feel like that would be um, good for now. It's not a big deal. I mean, I live in a one um story apartment so me seeing him having to go to the door i should be able to let him out i let him out every single hour and i'm going to show you guys his plan that i made at first i had a reminders just for him named zane and i had it timed so, so i have it to where every hour it reminds me to take him outside and then i feed him at 7 a.m., 12 p.m., 5 p.m., and 8 p.m. And then I take him outside for about the last time at 11 p.m. And then I will crate him in his crate. And then he'll whine and I'll just let him go out and he'll pee or poop. And then I'll just put him right back in and I won't let him back out until the next morning. And then I will feed him again and start the whole process. So he is currently at the vet right now and I'm so sad because I miss him, but he is getting his um, round of shots. This is his second time going to the vet with me and when I first got him, I scheduled an appointment for the vet to check him out and he had an ear infection, worms, and um, something else. And they also had to uh, give me shampoo and conditioner spe specifically for him because he does have dry skin. Um, so yeah, when you get a dog, be prepared to pay some money for the first vet because there may be things wrong with your dog that you don't know about. So just be prepared for that. Um, I think that's all of the updates that I have for now. For Zane, 
I love my dog so much. She is so amazing. Uh, he's brought a lot of laugh and light into my life and it really just made me realize how much goes into taking care of being is crazy. Like he runs this whole house, it's ridiculous. Um, one thing that I do when I go out is that I carry him in a little purse and I will link that down below. I will make like an Amazon list of everything that I got that I use with saying. And yeah, um, I feel like he does have a little bit of separation anxiety. I work from home, so I don't really know how to like snap him out of that. If I leave um, out, I won't say anything. I'll just leave and then when I come back, I won't like be like, oh, Zane, did you miss me? I'll just walk in and just put my stuff down and just act normal so that he doesn't like feel like, oh, when I come back, it's just this big happy thing. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I saw a video about it and they just said, just try not to um, make it as significant when you walk in and out when you go somewhere. So I try to do that. And I think that is it. I think that is all for the video. Like I said, I will leave an Amazon link of everything that I use with him and everything that I find beneficial. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any dogs or if you are trying to get a puppy soon or what you plan on naming them and all of that down below. And we can have a whole conversation about it. And that is the end of this video. I will include some pictures of Zane so that you guys can maybe fall in love with him too and i will see you guys in my next video tomorrow i am doing a marathon of videos for the whole month of august until my birthday the 21st so back to back video so make sure you subscribe leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys tomorrow bye